Hey everyone, this is Ritz bringing back another SMPB of Minecraft Let's Play. Um, today we are gonna do another layer on the mob system. I figured I would bring you guys a episode of it just to show you how to do it and give you an idea of what I go through every single layer. It's a pretty repetitive process, but isn't any mob system in that case because what these are is a separate. I hear a baby zombie. There he goes, right there. Well, er, what a mob system is, is a l system of layers that build up the entire system. So, picture it as, let's say, a cake. You have the first layer, which is the foundation, and then you build everything from there up. Which, I guess is an easy way to think about it. But, that, that's the inside view. Um, This is the layer, 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 layer all the way down to the bottom. I think I'm at six now, but I think we're about to put the seventh on, which this shouldn't take too long. Um, I started digging another tunnel there because I want to have more tunnels because I like the way it looks. I don't know. I will connect them eventually as long as soon as I get that one down to level 12. Uh, but that won't take too long. So what you do is you start off with four three by three pads. You start one there, one there, one there, and then one right here. And once you have those three pads, you go one wide space, go three out, and you make what eight more. on each side of the system. These right here are the spawning spaces for the mobs. This is where they will start off and spawn and they will walk off these into the one wide area which will have water running down it. Excuse me. And that will then carry them down so this is what it looks like so far you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve spawning pads uh... that's not too bad each layer works out to be i think uh... one no no it turns one yeah one hundred spawning spaces per layer and this will be my sixth or seventh layer. So I'm going to have upwards of 600 layers. Sorry, my TV turned on. I don't know why. But yes, you'll have upwards of 600 layers if you have six layers. Six, 600 layers. You'll have up to 600 spawning spaces if you have six layers. But I'm going to go all the way up to 10. And then I'll just continue lighting up caves. I won't go any higher than 10 because that's what was advised I recently built an intro, I made an intro it's nothing fancy I will put it in the beginning of this video and you've probably already seen it so if you've seen it and you liked it leave me a comment and uh, I might get a new intro, I might leave it at that one, I'm not sure yet in case I like start doing different games so what you do now is you have one block above that, one block above that, one block above that, one block there, there, and there. And what those are, because in the end, we'll do one more two layer chunk here. But what in the end is, these little ones right here are your extra spawning space per layer because originally you wouldn't have those little areas but what those turn out to be are where the water goes underneath so if you place the water above it I mean, if you place the water below it they can spawn above and you get one more added area because originally the there's only 96 spawning spaces per layer but with those added for you get the 100 spaces that you would like. The 
the server that I play on is open for applications too, so anyone can play on here. Anybody can join and record if they wanted to. It's a really nice server. Really nice group of people on here. See what what you do now is uh, you put you finished going up. You added one more layer to make it too tall. And this will make it so they can't get back up. So like they spawn up there, they walk into these little areas, and they fall down into the one wide area here, and they get pushed to the center area where they can't fall down. Well, they hit where they fall down, and they can't get back up to these layers. And that makes it a pretty efficient mob trap. It's a very like simplex, sim simple design, as I say, simplex. But that's the opposite. That's a like simple complex. The first layer, like the first layer, is the hardest, just solely because it's the foundation layer. So you're kind of setting everything up. You're trying not to fall. And if you do fall, and you don't have feather falling boots, you're in for a ride because you'll be dying a lot. But since I had my feather falling four boots that I've had the entire time, I haven't died yet on this server, and I'm hoping that I can keep that going with you guys. But I think I'll leave the episode off here. Next time I see you guys, I'll have the top layer nearly finished. I'll come back to you guys to show you putting on the roof, and we'll see how it raises spawn rates or anything and see what it does. But this is Ritz. Please favorite, like, or subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.